What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh my God, what's going on? What's up guys? New year, new meet. I came up with that uh, on my own actually. Usually not that creative with stuff like that, but as usual, it is Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meet. Honestly surprised I'm not in Mexico or Colombia yet. Funny story, one of the guys that fixed my uh, machine once, he's actually Colombian. He had like a place on a beach in Colombia and offered me to come stay there. But with how much he charged me to fix the machine, I'm surprised he didn't pay for my plane ticket and a few girls to play with while I was there. I guess back to business. So still moving forward, guys. Haven't completely lost it yet, you know. If I do completely lose it, I will like, you guys, you guys are not, you guys are not. First, Frank is drinking beer in restaurants. Now he's getting a tattoo. Is the world ending? Is the world ending? Guys, I've thought about this for a while. A lot of you know I had gynecomastia surgery a few years ago. Wasn't too happy about the scars. So I figured, hey, last resort, maybe if we get a tattoo to kind of cover it up, it'll look good and I'll be happy to do my, uh, at least a little bit of fitness content here and there. So uh, after you guys see what it is, you're, I'm gonna get someone. You guys are gonna be so much crap because I've actually talked trash about these types of tattoos before, but we'll get into that later. Um, I'm just all dressed up. Uh, I'm gonna go down to work a little bit. Then we gotta drive down to the city for the whole day tattoo session. I got my lunch here. Go back in time and get reborn with better chest genetics. <laughs> Real solution. So the evil snake stuff wasn't my idea, but after much deliberation, we decided it would look the best from a symmetry perspective. This is the outline. It covers down here, obviously, and then it actually even goes up and covers some of my stretch marks, so. Tattoo looks good. Eight hours later, of course, the migraine. Hopefully, Ladies and gentlemen, looks pretty good. Definitely no more scars, no more stretch marks. Guys, believe it or not, this is a this is a business marketing expense. You know, it is 100%. It is. I kind of set myself up for this one between the videos, recent videos talking about how bad tattoos are for you and. Um, all the, the jokes about Hitomi's snake tattoo and the jokes that many jokes I made about snake tattoos, it's a little bit, little bit hypocritical, a little bit hypocritical, but I ho hopefully the reasoning is with the cover up and that type of stuff. Yeah, so the game plan is ship out all remaining orders Monday. We're gonna move the meat over on Tuesday. I'm gonna go over and unload the meat order at the new location myself while my guys in the moving company packs everything on the truck here. And then Wednesday, we should finish packing up everything on the truck. And then Thursday, we go over there and unload everything. My guys don't have a lot of stuff and I have, I got an apartment for them so that should be pretty easy transition i guess getting them over there thursday and then my stuff i'm not really sure i'm supposed to close on the house this week so we'll see how it goes all right guys we got here got the house got the apartment for my guys frankie's free range meat new headquarters today we're gonna look at the building show you guys around at least most of it because it is way too big but this was grocery store so they had everything you know they had all fresh produce a lot of a lot a lot of stuff all the shelving and there's even more in the back again deli some prep stuff was back here, some sinks. That's the warehouse. And here is more of the grocery store. So this is actually a huge freezer back here. That's not currently hooked up. Probably cost another few thousand to hook that up. What's up guys? First vlog in the new place. And honestly, I don't really like doing these business vlogs. It's just, I spend so much time here. And more importantly, there's like significant things every week that I have to tell you guys because a lot of my customers like only watch my YouTube videos. They don't like. Then I signed up to the newsletter and stuff, so. Uh, we did a huge chicken giveaway over the weekend. We gave away over like $3,000 worth of uh, chicken quarters and chicken wings. So about 175 orders got like a free package of each of those. So hopefully you guys enjoy that this week. I'm excited because I've been waiting almost a year for this. The new vitamin and mineral line for organ supplements is here. We used to have the liquids, which, you know, in some cases they didn't taste good. They weren't that easy to have every day conveniently. So I decided to ultimately get capsules. Now I barely fit each of these on the table because there's so many individual B vitamins. Oh, I think I did a pretty good job of, I mean, pretty much anything I would ever want to take because, hey, if you're deficient in a vitamin, we have it. If you're deficient in a mineral, we have it. No BS, mushrooms, herbs, tinctures, all types of nonsense. This is, you know, minerals and vitamins, as basic as it gets. What's up? How are you guys this week? As always, guys, we have some exciting 
new products for you. The Biltong is here today. We got it in, a few new products I'm gonna show you guys, as well as jerky. Now you guys know we've had the plain jerky for a while. Basically just beef chips, plain, no salt added, dehydrated at a raw temperature. And what's new is we have teriyaki jerky, which has been made with the highest quality organic ingredients, just really, really high quality stuff, guys. Both of these are on Frankie's rangefoods.com. So for the jerky guys, in addition to the plain and the teriyaki, we also have salt and pepper flavored. So there's gonna be three flavors on the jerky and we have four kind of Biltong-esque products that just arrived today. So these are made by the only high quality manufacturer really in the United States that uses grass-fed meat and organic ingredients. The branding is Brooklyn Biltong. So this is the plain Biltong called Naked Air Dried Beef. And I thought I ordered a larger size of the plain one, but uh, they sent me the original flavor in the larger size. So this is eight ounces, but this is like the classic Biltong blend of spices with the coriander, the black pepper, the rosemary. So this is gonna be slightly cheaper per pound, but this is flavored and seasoned. I've spoken in the past about various surgeries I've had, double jaw surgery, LASIK eye surgery, and I'm all for it if the problem can't be fixed in a natural way. The procedure that drives me crazy the most is the BBL Brazilian butt lift. Why can't you just go to the gym? I'm going to show you a quick, easy, healthy barley stew that you can make within 10, 15 minutes and feed yourself for several days. This can be the sole thing you eat in your diet. Starting with the tenderloin stew meat from Frankie's Free Range Meat. We have the collagen broth from Frankie's Free Range Meat. We have the barley, which is calorically dense, has a decent amount of B vitamins, is going to be most of the carbs of what's in this stew. A little bit of salt here for seasoning. And we also have just some filtered mineral water to put in the stew. And on the right here, this is what takes most of the time, maybe five, 10 minutes. We chopped up and peeled some organic russet potatoes, organic white onion, organic shiitake mushrooms, and we're going to add a little bit of organic thyme for flavor. I like this a lot, this is my favorite. Mix everything up a little bit. So we just put this on meat stew, high pressure. Turn off, keep warm. This isn't gonna be ready until like nighttime. So yeah, it takes maybe like two or three hours to finish in the Instant Pot, but then you wanna let it kind of naturally cool down and, uh, and it'll be good by the end of the day. As always guys, we got some new and exciting stuff to talk about, especially the dairy. Some of you saw we had the milk available last week on the website, we'll definitely talk about that. Our farmer surprised us last week. They sent us about 100 quarts of milk and we got some butter too. Yeah, I think we ran out of the butter, but here we also have a, a garlic and chive cheese dip, and then we have the regular A2 Farmer's Cheese. But we're getting more dairy in Wednesday of this week. Milk, butter, kefir, yogurt, and buttermilk. Not sure about the cream yet, so guys, definitely keep an eye out. The Russian girls are going to chew the red meat, spit it out into the jar, and then we're going to sell that. It's going to be like the healthier version of lab meat, pre-chewed red meat from Russian girls with a healthy oral and gut microbiome. I'm in a metal tent right now. I'm in a metal tent. What's up guys? Welcome to my mess of a kitchen. Lemon light, organic electrolyte drink mix. So the ratio of sodium to potassium to magnesium to calcium in this is what naturally occurs in food. It's also the most natural forms of minerals. We're using sea salt, potassium citrate, magnesium glycinate, and calcium carbonate. The only thing in this is organic lemon for the flavor and a tiny, tiny bit of stevia, such an insignificant amount. What's even crazier is there's no fillers and, and that's all of my products are using really high quality ingredients and they're also competitively priced with all the other products on the market, despite being higher quality ingredients, more natural and better products, so. oh. What's up guys? I feel like a bug in one of those Venus fly traps. So this is a SunQuest Pro 24 XL. There's tons of these on Facebook Marketplace used. You know, this was recommended to me by this tanning guy I was talking to. I was trying to get him to build me like a custom device or something and he actually recommended I get one of these. This was his favorite model. It's like a workhorse. They're consistent, they're reliable. There's a lot of them and they're affordable. I thought this was newer, and then when I looked on the uh, on the cereal panel, 1991, made in Holland. So, hey, it, it works perfectly. That's a testament to the the craftsmanship of this. But 
This thing is uh, older than me, older than me. <laughs> so in our blender, we're putting just a tiny bit of water. You know, the more water you put in here, the more you're gonna have to swallow down. So, but you still need enough water to, uh, you know, get everything well blended. We don't really wanna puree this and blend it a long time, no more than 10 seconds. Now, if I was a man of lesser constitution, I don't think I would have done this in the first place, but I'm not stupid. So we're, we're gonna use a strategy to swallow this down without having to taste goat and your glandular. It, look, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. If I still had a pair of balls, I would suck this down in front of you guys. The taste isn't that enjoyable. So we're gonna hold our nose. What's up guys? I forgot my camera and microphone today, so we're filming this on the iPhone. Our new exciting product for this week is potato chips. And guys, I, I was a little irritated yesterday as soon as I posted the announcement of the potato chips. All the corporate chills, dozens and dozens of comments saying like, oh no, you should buy from this brand instead or you should go to Costco and buy this. It's actually pathetic and disgusting that they want you to buy these migraine inducing seed oil poisonous chips and they're trying to tell you they're as good as mine. It's actually comical and pathetic and sad, but hey, they need to eat caviar in their cave, so go figure. What's up guys? We're in New York City again for possibly our last restaurant vlog. Who knows? They don't have outdoor seating here, so I don't know how they're gonna be with me filming my vlog in here on my phone and stuff. Uh, it's called Le Cuckoo, AKA you'd have to be cuckoo to spend this much at a restaurant, but I'm a little late for my reservation. So we'll hop inside guys. All right, so this is white asparagus with lute, which I'm assuming is white asparagus with cream mostly. And then I could have done without the green stuff on top, but that's fine. And then they do have bread and butter, which we'll try. All right, so overall, in this scenario, you get what you pay for. So I've been wanting to carry a lot of different like high quality organic foods products. And there were also some natural hygiene and household products that, you know, I just can't do everything myself. The amount of money it would cost to, to develop and do all that stuff, you know, you'd have to buy pallets and pallets and pallets of different grains, make your own bags, it was just too much. Thankfully, they do have these like natural food distributors that like Whole Foods uses and all that type of stuff. So I was able to get quite a few high quality organic products that I really liked that normally, you know, wouldn't be able to do on my own. So we have around 15 new products on the foods website, ranging from grains to beans to fats, nuts, and seasoning. What's up, how are you guys? Another week at Frankie's Free Range Meat, another week of me sweating my guts out because for some reason, I keep wearing like six shirts as if I'm about to spend five hours in the freezer. Uh, so we are in our hotel room, thankfully. Early check-in was fine. I got here like around 11, but uh, I'm kind of excited to see this doctor. This is a uh, $40,000, not $40,000. It's around $30,000, but like the hotel, I got to pay for a nurse, Every all the expenses out here, the whole trip is going to be, it, it's a lot of money. Uh, I'm basically blind, so <laughs> it took me about five minutes just to click the camera icon on my phone and uh, click record. We're going to do the giveaway because uh, I made a promise to myself we're going to do a giveaway for blind people. Yo, who's that? What happened to Frank? Before I start having too much of a conniption, I'll give it a, a few more weeks. A few more weeks, I'll have my conniption. Because the surgery was so expensive, I made a promise to myself if I did it, that I would donate an equivalent amount of money to disabled blind Americans. I thought that was suitable because when I was actually out there after the procedure, I was blind for a few days. So although I was only partially blind, but I could not imagine having to live like that. Uh, but yeah, check out frank guys. Uh, as always, thank you guys for continuing to support my businesses. So hopefully we can, you know, get somewhere before I completely lose my mind. As I said, I'm, I'm growing the hair as big as possible. So hopefully I get electrocuted by a bolt of lightning and I won't have to run the businesses anymore. Maybe I need some bolts on my neck, like Frankenstein, and I can also like ground myself some copper wire. Anyway, I think I've said this several times in the past few videos. Like if there's any point in time for you guys to support us, it's gonna be kind of through the end of this year into early next year as we kind of get things situated and I'm a little more comfortable. And then after that point, I won't worry about it as much. But uh, you guys can drop a like on the video, leave me a comment, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon.